So, I have a Panzer IV now. And maybe you do too, as a result of my tutorial videos. If that is the case, hats off to you. I can imagine it was tricky to build, even uh, if you had the appropriate pieces. However, neither of us are um, prepared to hunt any Shermans in Normandy because we have the wrong gun barrel on the end of this. I like this uh, specific kind of tank. This is the Panzer IV Ausfung D, um, with the one with the Bunker Buster gun in it. But I also am a fan of the Aus of G and decided to build that one as well. The main difference between the Aus of D and the Aus of G was that there was an upgunning situation in which this uh, tank hole and turret was modified to carry a larger gun for destroying other tanks instead of destroying fortifications. The other specifications I found as far as uh, general changes to the tank as a result of the change in the models were minor enough that I decided not to include them here. And the only main change I'm going to be making to this tank is going to be a change of the barrel. I have designed and built a Panzer IV House of G barrel, and I'm going to show people how to build it and uh, add it to the tank in case anyone cares um, to change it from just a fortification destroyer into a tank hunter. The pieces required to build this extra long gun barrel are not tremendously complex and should be easy for anyone to build. Um, even if you're building maybe your own Panzer IV House of G and you want um, a barrel design, you're welcome to use this as well. You don't have to use this on my specific tank. Um, similarly, also the um, the muzzle brake and the barrel width is very similar to the uh, the Pac-40, which I'm considering to uh, designing as well. And uh, since that muzzle brake is similar, you also could use this design for a Pac-40 barrel. It might work for that as well. So pieces you're going to want are two Technic half pins. I have mine here in dark gray, but it doesn't matter what colors. Uh, a cone piece, which is a one by one piece that is slanted at the top, a Technic washer, one of the wide ones, a bead piece, which is a circular one by one, and this piece that I've always called a bow staff, which is sort of a wand rod with a little stop on the end. So naturally, we're going to start with this piece and just kind of go about this and casually build it. I start with this cone piece, slide it on the back to push it all the way up and forward, and you may have to set it on the table to get it to go in there. Push it all the way up forward so it comes flush, there we go, with the end of this black piece so that it's hidden in there. Take this washer piece and stick it on the end with the smooth end facing out. Take both of the Technic half pins and slide them on. I like to line up the holes so that it looks a little bit nicer, like from here to here. And I put the short end of the Technic pin in the back just because. And then at the very end, we're going to apply this circular one by one and it's going to all clamp it all together. So this is my Panzer IV House of G barrel. It's a very simple design, um, but I think that it does exactly what it needs to do, and I think it looks great on the tank. The actual application of this gun barrel is fairly self-explanatory, but I'm gonna do it real quick here on camera just to show it how I like to do it. With the removal of the cone and stud piece off the end of this gun barrel, you can apply the Aus of G barrel, which fits very nicely on the end of that. And now you have yourself a tank killer. This was just a small modification that I made to this tank because I wanted to be able to upgun it and kind of be able to tell the history of this tank along with the original one that I made. As I mentioned originally in my Panzer IV video, um, the Panzer IV Aus of D is one of my favorite tanks, and I really liked that barrel, and I decided to build that one first. But I definitely thought that it came with the idea to build the Aus of G, um, and I'm considering doing some of the um, the other models that have the, the Schutz and um, side armor. But for now, this is the uh, modification that I made for it. I think it looks really nice. It really makes that iconic uh, tank body because the um, the Panzer IV was such an iconic tank as far as uh, medium tanks go and just like you're more of a classic tank look. And I think uh, moving from this bunker buster gun to this big uh, tank hunting gun really accentuates sort of the tankiness of it all, if that makes any sense. Tanks beware.